G'day off trackers. As you can see, finally some sun. So I'm actually going on a uh, camping trip. So this is to show everyone sort of the upper bit of the Sunshine Coast, but I'm not gonna be alone this time. If you wanna come in girls, I've got some, <laughs> some friends joining me on this trip. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So you'll see these guys on the on the trip with me this uh, this weekend. So if you want to introduce yourselves, where you're from? Uh, yeah. I'm from France, and my name is Salia. And I'm from uh, Peru. My name is uh, Raquel, and yeah, we're gonna join Dylan to this trip. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, they're rookies, but we'll get into it. This is the first spot we're at. Uh, for, hopefully, I get this right. Series Creek. So we'll go down there, I'll chuck the drone up if I can put it up and I'll get some video footage down there. This is a looks like it could be a really cool spot. And then we're off to, I reckon, the best spot in all of Queensland. So, see ya. So if you're wanting to know why the water is brown, because uh, the girls were a bit sort of hesitant to go in. So don't worry, it's nothing nasty. A lot of people probably think it's tea tree. Uh, no tea tree, but it is tannin. So all leaf matter basically has tannin oil in it. And as the water seeps through the sand and through the leaf matter, it bleaches the water with tannins, turning it this brownie color. So it'd actually be really good for your skin. Not as good as tea tree, but still really good for your skin. So. I actually have to say I highly recommend this place. First time coming here and I actually think it's pretty nice. There's two entries, two uh, swimming platforms. Make sure as you're walking down the path you take the one to the left. It's a lot better than the one to the right. We'll push on from here and wait till we get to the next spot. It is an absolute ripper. So guys, as you can tell, DI, we've made it. What do you guys think? It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. The and clouds. Anything like this over where you guys are from? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing compared. It's so beautiful. So it's public holiday, so as you guys can expect, it is absolutely packed, but it's still amazing. And every time I come here, I get amazed how much it changes. So we're in the little inlet at the moment, which is normally where you sort of come and swim, but this time round, this is sort of stagnant, not very nice, where the beach you can get to easily and it's pumping, it's beautiful. If you guys haven't been here, get down here.
Okay, off to camp. How was that? Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a nice spot. We haven't missed out. So now we've got the little punch over. We're in. I was really smart. I booked the closest campsite to Double Island. So should be about a 15 minute drive. So I'll see you guys there once I'm all set up. Ready? Check this out. Tell me that's not easier than a normal swag. Guys, that's camp all set up, so I'll show you what we're working with. So, Darcy awning, as you see, new one all fixed, no sag. Uh, and then I've just got my Coleman stove, had the Hyperflame one. This thing's brilliant, so even in really, really strong wind, it won't blow it out. It is just absolutely pumped, so that's brilliant. Got three chairs, and then if we come around here, the old trusty. Coleman instant up tent. That's an absolute ripper as you would have seen went up really quick. My new air swag, which you've seen, that thing's phenomenal. There's a review coming on that. And then we've just got the cheap BCF awning here, which I actually use as a shower. So I put up one side wall and then I've got my Julka and you can shower under here. And if we turn around, it really is pretty private. So with the tent there, we should be fine. I doubt there's anybody going to be anybody walking down by the dunes. So this will do us for the night. Uh, we'll settle in, cook some dinner, and I'll sort of, sort of show you what happens throughout the night. Catch you at dinner time, I guess. See ya. Morning off trackers. We'll that was one hell of a night. I wasn't sure if the Sahimo swag was waterproof, but I certainly got to test it. We had a massive storm come through, ripped one of the poles out of the top of the awning here. But yeah, I'll show you around. It is absolutely soaked. Still raining now. The prediction was <coughs> for today, there was only meant to be one mil, but everything is just absolutely soaked. Still raining. And yeah, the wind just absolutely went from dead flat yesterday to torrential overnight, just ripping at everything. <laughs> Bless me, ripping at everything. So, first time I'm going to try it, I'm going to try literally just dropping the tent down and throwing it in the tray. Same with the swag, just drop it down and throw it in the tray. So, uh, as you can see from that footage, that was pretty gnarly. That's honestly, second time that's happened to me at Double Island. No storm predicted. Last time, Ash was with me and we're in a rooftop tent, got absolutely hammered. As you see from this footage I'll overlay now, trying to get off the beach was even a mission. If you didn't have a two inch lift, there's no way you were getting up that track and you would have had to wait out till low tide and go down the beach to do so. It was carnage. And Honestly, the Bureau, as I said in the video, had predicted one mil for the next day. No talk of thunderstorms, so being a long weekend, I've honestly, I've never seen DI that busy. It was absolutely chockers full of people 
And then when we left at 9 o'clock in the morning, there was just people's shit left everywhere that had just been destroyed and ragdolled through the night if they didn't tie it down. So I think the Bureau, unfortunately, is to blame for that because if anybody had seen Chance of Thunderstorm, they wouldn't have went. But everybody saw zero to one mil and went, oh, well, I can handle one mil and stayed. So, yeah, this will wrap this video up. It was a very interesting camping trip. And for the backpackers, it was interesting for them to see what Australia can deliver in such a short amount of time. It was absolute flash flooding. So, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe do some more reviews for you. I'll try and get some more traveling trips happening if this weather ever bloody goes back to normal on the East Coast. Until next time, see ya.